Hi, and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Miss Please. And I would like to talk about you busy, busy women out there who are just looking to make a quick meal to feed your family after a long day of work. And I apologize because I got tons of people that all of a sudden are sending me messages. Um, welcome. So let's get started. Today I'm going to make chicken Alfredo. I believe that's the name. Um, so what, what I've done is I'm going to share some ingredients with you. First, what I like to do when I come into the kitchen is to put my hair up in a clip, wash my hands, organize my kitchen, I keep my towel close by. So let's get started. <clears throat> so first, a couple of things. Because we're st the day is so busy and there's not a lot of time. If you're a crock pot cooker, great. I am not, I'm terrible at it. So I went to Walmart, Sam's, Costco, Smith, and just bought a rotisserie chicken, okay? You are going to buy, sorry, uh, hot dog buns. You're gonna buy Parmesan cheese, uh, you're gonna get some garlic, sea, sea salt, garlic powder, onion powder, Lowry's seasoning, a bag of spinach, in the fruit vegetable aisle <clears throat> and penny pasta and three jars of alfredo sauce whatever you choose i like bertoli's uh, mushroom alfredo and i kind of mix it up i get a plain and i get a flavored um, my mom's a chef and she didn't too much care for the basil, so I'm going to stay away from the basil. But if you're a basil lover, try it out. See what works with your palate. So, what we're going to do is we're going to boil our penny pasta, all right, in water. And I have some on the stove. Um, let's get, let's, let me get this. And once it's finished boiling, we're going to dump it into a strainer. And you don't want it to overcook. So you're going to, let me set this down, you're going to run cold water over it. I'm new to this kitchen stuff, so bear with me. So you're going to run cold water over it. All right. Then you're going to cut up an onion. So let me do this so that you can see. Well, things happen and we learn. So here is the onion. Let me move this knife. And all you're going to do is make some slices. I like to hold my fingers like this so that I don't chop my fingers, which is a really bad habit. It used to be a bad habit of mine. And then when I get close to the end, I don't hold anything. I just start chopping. It's easier that way for me to get smaller ones. 
unless you have a chef at home that can do a lot of your cutting for you, this seems to be the easiest that works for me. All right, so let's move over to the chicken. All right, let's move over to the chicken. And, all right. So here's one of my chickens. And all we're going to do is pull the meat off of your already prepared chicken, rotisserie chicken. I choose the lemon flavor. I think it's called lemon pepper. Yep, lemon pepper flavor. And you just basically pull the whole bone apart. I'm sorry, not the whole bone apart. Pull the meat off the bone. This is a quick little dish that is fulfilling. Your whole family will love it. Even your guests will wanna come over and stay. I know the boys, when they're over hanging out, they all wanna stay for dinner. So, and you just pull it apart. You know, <laughs> pulling this chicken apart makes me kind of feel like I'm on the TV show Naked and Afraid. You know, when they find food and they've been hungry and they're just cooking it and pulling it apart just to get some food in their system. Um, yeah. So, and a uh, word of the wise. So, whenever you buy a chicken from Walmart... The chicken is not all the way cooked. So you have to um, either put it in the oven a little bit longer or put it in the microwave and nuke it. That's what I do. And I'm just taking all the extra gunk off. All right, so we're going to Let's see if there's more on here. We're going to, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. And those of you that are just chiming in, we are making chicken Alfredo for the busy, for the busy woman, the busy household the busy family and it could be for busy dads so don't think it's just for the moms all right so let's move this to the side I'm gonna wash my hands and get that chicken off all right so we're gonna put this this is our chicken in the microwave for about three minutes. And while we're doing that, we're going to prepare our bread. And some of you might be wondering, why don't you just use French bread? Well, I do sometimes use French bread, but as a kid, when there was no bread, we used hot dog buns. And I have to tell you, the flavor of a hot dog bun is delicious. With spaghetti, with basically anything by itself, with a dish, with spaghetti and chicken, with Alfredo, and all I'm doing is putting a little bit of butter on here let's see a little bit of butter we're gonna so what we did was we opened up the bit the buns got your favorite kind of butter or not butter I 
use I can't believe it's butter all right so once I do that I take my garlic sea salt and I like to have control of the salt so I will put it in my hand and I will sprinkle because you don't want too much salt and I tell you if you don't have control of the bottle when you're sprinkling it is excessive and then I just pour the rest in the sink let me get a tray Ooh, my apologies for the noise we have one tray prepared we're gonna put that in the oven and you set I set my oven to 350 I pre preheat it and so I put these on the sheet pan and you can use any pan doesn't matter as long as the bread fits I put these in the oven and let them cook. Then next, I get my copper pan. And you can, again, you can use any pan that you'd like. I'm going to heat up the oven. I'm sorry, I'm going to heat up the stove top. While that is heating up, there you go. I wanted you to be able to see what I was doing, but there you go. So while the oven is heating up, look at, do you see that steam? Yes, it's nice and hot. So we're going to clean off the soap and water, the tray, I'm sorry, the cutting board that we use to make our bread. And we're going to put our meat on here. And I'm gonna clean my knife with soap and water. I keep a lot of soap in my rags. And then we're just gonna cut this into squares. And it doesn't have to be exact because again, after a long day, who has time for details? Yep, watch your fingers when you're cutting. Keep them out of the way. All right, so we're going to let this cool off because it's a little hot when you're trying to cut meat. And again, I am not a chef. I am a busy parent. All right, so we have enough meat. I'm gonna wash my hands. So we have our pasta made and it's sitting in water. We don't want it to dry out. And we're gonna put now sorry I'm gonna move you move you wonderful viewers out there so that you could see the pot it's on I'm gonna put a little bit of oil and I'm gonna put a little bit of butter 
Oh, that's a lot of oil. And I don't like how much oil that is, so we're going to pour some of it out. Because we want butter in there. And then what we're going to do is put some butter in there. We're going to get our spinach. Put our spinach in here and saute it. some tongs that I like. So we're going to saute this. More spinach. So spinach shrink. Okay. And you want to put some just regular salt. Not a lot, just a little. And I would say probably two dashes. Okay. Whoa. And if you like, you can cut the spinach in half. If you don't like whole spinach. All right. So once that has shrunk, we're... I'm going to put a little bit of onion in here. And um, you can saute the onion before or you can saute it after. All right. I think I want a little bit more. And so you probably want to saute the onion. I like my onion just a little tad bit uh, dense. So let's put some more, just a little bit more. And you're okay to put more in there because the leaves, the spinach leaves, are going to cook and if there's no meat in here all right so we're gonna let that cook Ooh, and smell the aroma it smells delicious yes all right so now while that's sauteing we're going to bring our meat over and add our meat. To the mix. All right, so I'm gonna get the seasoning. We're gonna um, add some flavor. Even though the meat is already flavored, we're going to add just a little bit. So I'm only going to put uh, three shakes, one, two, three, of seasoning salt, which would be two tablespoons. I'm going to put one, a half a tablespoon of garlic and a half a tablespoon of onion powder. And we're going to stir. We're going to, let's check our bread. Our bread is still cooking. Whew. Jesus. And the heat from the stove got me. So it doesn't have to cook too long, uh, friends, because the chicken is already cooked and we heated it up. I always want to make sure that my chicken is cooked. So then now, while that's cooking, 
you're going to get your penne noodles and we're going to add them a little at a time. Just a little at a time. And if you want to add more meat because it's, there's not enough meat, you do so. Make it a hearty meal that you and your family would love or if it's just you. Something that you could be fulfilled with when you eat this. If you like a lot of meat or if you like a lot of noodles, make it accommodating for your taste, to your taste. All right, so I've got a huge family. So I am going to add noodles. I'm gonna put my, where's my bag? All right. Oops, making a mess. And listen, the kitchen is where you create. There's nothing perfect. So while this is cooking, I'm going to chop up a little bit more chicken to add. And I added just a little bit more chicken. All right. Wash my hands. Let's stir. Oh, it smells delicious. Very good. Whew. Can you smell it? Can you smell what I'm cooking? <laughs> All right, and while that's cooking, we've added our seasoning. I'm going to open up our can of mushroom alfredo sauce, and I like to shake it at the bottom to stir it up and to make the top a lot easier to open. Hear that click, that pop? Oh, yeah. This is going to be delicious. I'm going to stir it before I add more. Yes. And this is a great dish. I have some friends um, that don't know how to cook. And this is a great dish. And again, it doesn't have to look perfect. It just has to taste good. I think I'm going to add a little bit more white sauce. I'm going to use... This time I'm gonna use regular Alfredo sauce so I can balance the flavors. All right. I don't like dry noodles. Okay, my bread is still cooking. Look at that. Twenty minutes, fifteen minutes, voila. This dish is done. And then let me get my mitts out. For those of you that know me, love know that I love pink. I'm gonna take my pot off of the stove and put it in the sink. And I am going to bring, yeah, I think they're, I'm going to let the bread cook a little bit longer. So the bread at 350 should probably sit for about 10 minutes. And while this is cooking, I like to add the Parmesan cheese, a little bit of Parmesan cheese while it's cooking. Because this flavor, this just adds, and the brand that I use is this one, Frigo, I believe. I hope I'm saying it right. Let me get scissors, a knife to cut open this top. So we have access to it. 
And we're just gonna sprinkle some. Cause this just changes the flavor. So we're gonna stir. This smells delicious. When your family comes home, or friends, partner, or husband, or roommate, everybody is going to want to taste this, and they'll probably get more than one serving. All right, so here's our bread, delicious. Ooh, can you smell the garlic? And let's turn our fire off, and we don't want this to continue cooking, so I'm gonna move it to the different eye. There we go. And, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I love to serve my food and fancy dishes. It just makes me feel very, I don't know, like I'm eating out somewhere. Very fancy. All right. Okay. Let me. Clean this up. Gonna get a bread. And voila, a fancy feast for many or just one. Smoking hot, but it's delicious. Oh, yes. The flavor is perfect. Oh, divine. So, this is chicken alfred. Give me one second. This is chicken alfredo with... Real talk with Miss Please. Give it a try. If you haven't already, subscribe down below so that you can continue to get alerts for our next video. Leave comments. Tell me what you think. If you try it out, add pictures. I'd love to see what you've made. Thank you, and until we meet again, cheers. I'll talk to you soon.